Like I've been asleep for years. I suppose you're wondering what this is all about. I remember your aunt being just as surprised. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Arbitrix. I am the master of the table and a prodigious teller of tales. And you, my friend, are about to embark upon quite the adventure. I hope you're ready. The storm came out of nowhere. The ship is on its way back to the biggest port in the Crown's Islands. Its voyage has been a success. The substantial treasure on deck was, let's say, acquired by four scoundrels who hired the ship for their venture. Who are they, you ask? Pick them up and see for yourself. Thomas Turlinger, the apothecary. A genius of experimental potions with a rather... questionable clientele. If you want to know more about a scandal, place them on one of the plinths on the table edge near you. This one calls herself Nuna. Don't ask where she got her heretical and very illegal powers of dark sorcery. who's really good at solving problems with her iron-clad fists. Introducing Horatio Nine Lives the Thrice Blessed. The swindler came up with that name himself. As the storm swells, Captain Frost abandons the wheel. As her there at the rail shouting nonsense into the wind. The crew aren't happy. They've bewitched the captain, yells first mate Barnabas. And brought this storm upon us. We must take the ship for ourselves. This is mutiny. A band of heroes would try and talk the crew around, but these are scoundrels. The best way they know to end a mutiny is to put it down. Hard. Time to fight. Each turn, you must spend all your yellow power pits to move, attack or rest in order to defeat your foes. Move your scoundrel next to a foe. If you move too far, you'll begin to expend their power pits. Play this card on a foe within range to expend power pips and attack.
from below to join the fight. Play this card on an ally within range to expend power pips and give them a boost.
mutineers. But you still need to regain control of this ship. There is a lot going wrong, and all your scoundrels will need to pitch in if they want any hope of surviving this storm. Try to choose the best scoundrel for each task. The more stars they contribute, the better. Place them on the skill checks and see for yourself. has abandoned the wheel. Someone strong needs to steer the ship through this storm. Play this card on the skill check to attempt it. Take and roll the die to find out if you succeed. to tie a better knot. Well, at least it didn't break anything important. Let's hope you don't need a cannon anytime soon. Someone fast needs to climb the rigging and trim those sails. Oh, oh, success! They nimbly climbed up and trimmed the sails, slowing the ship and saving the mast. Well done! Captain Frost is waving that pistol around with a mad gleam in her eye. Someone needs to talk sense to her. She lowers her gun. The storm. I heard it. Calling it out to me. My ship. Save my ship. Or at least die trying. Something was influencing her. Something in the storm. But there's no time to worry about that. You've done all you can for now. The ship's as safe as it can be. And just as well as a giant wave is about to roll over the deck. Race for impact! <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Unfortunately for these scoundrels, there are only enough safe handholds left for three people. One of them is going to be washed overboard. Question is, which one? It's up to you who fails to hang on. Once you've made your decision, pick them up and throw them over. that this means a larger share of the treasure. There's no time to mourn or celebrate. You've survived, but your ship's badly damaged, and you're not alone. That's the Sunfish, the personal vessel of Solomon Sanko, governor of the Crown Islands. Ooh, he's taken a batter in from the storm. Though, <laughs> it's still in better condition than your poor ship. Wait, those... Those aren't sailors. They're orcs, the most feared pirates in these seas. The governor and his captain are tied up on the deck. The orcs clearly don't want you interfering with their plans. Prepare to be boarded. 